Hey Titans, it's Mr. Spilker here, and we are going to cover Chapter 6, Section 5. Chapter 6, Section 5. That's right, we're skipping over 6.4. And the title of 6.5 is Solving Absolute Value Equations and Inequalities. However, our focus today is simply going to be on equations. So label your notes, 6.5, Part Number 1. And we're going to be focusing on solving absolute value equations here in the video. Absolute value equations. All right, let's start off this uh, teaching video here by reviewing the definition of absolute value. And this is something you're going to want to write down. The definition of the absolute value. An absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on a number line. And since distance is always positive, absolute value means always positive. So by definition, the absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on a number line. Distance is always positive. Let's jump into an example with absolute values here. We have, first of all, a quick reminder of the symbol. The symbol for absolute value is the bars. And remember, it means the distance that that number is from zero on a number line, which is always positive. So, a quick example, the absolute value of negative 3, well, to get from negative 3 to 0 on a number line, that would be 3 spots, so the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. Once again, that's just a quick reminder of absolute values. Let's jump into some practice now with absolute values. We have the absolute value of 9 minus 2. So to do that one, we'd first of all do what's inside the grouping symbol. 9 minus 2 is 7, and the absolute value of 7 is... 7. Our second one would be 2 minus 9, the absolute value of 2 minus 9. So inside the bars, we would do 2 minus 9 first. 2 minus 9 is negative 7, and the absolute value of negative 7 is once again positive 7. All right, why don't you give this a quick pause and try these next four and see if you can go four for four. Just a quick pause, give them a quick try. And then uh, I'll pause here a second and display those answers. Alright, the answers you should have gotten are displayed now. You should have gotten 7 for the first one, 0 for the second, 2 for the third, and the last one would also be a positive 2. So the answer should have been 7, 0, 2, and 2. Hopefully that's a quick review that helps remind you of how to work with absolute values. All right, let's get into absolute value equations now. So absolute value equations are basically just what they are, equations that contain an absolute value sign. So let's think about this one. What are the possible values of x? The absolute value of x equals 5. Well, you're correct. There's two possible outcomes there for x, 5 and negative 5. If you plug in 5, the absolute value of 5 is 5. And if you plug in negative 5, the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. So as you can see, there's two possible values for x. You're going to notice, Titans, that as you solve these absolute value equations, there are two solutions because there's two different values that when plugged in for x can equal your solution. So let's get in on how to solve an absolute value equation. The absolute value of ax plus b is equal to c, where c must be greater than 0. c cannot be a negative number. If you look at an absolute value equation and it's like x plus 2 equals negative 5, you automatically know it's no solution because there's no way you can come out from behind bars and equal a negative. So c is always going to be positive. So to solve these, what you're going to do is you're going to set up two new equations. The first one that's going to find your first solution is going to be the same as the problem just without the bars. And the second one is going to be the same as the first equation, except you change that number that's isolated to be a negative. So make sure the absolute value is all by itself before you split and solve your two equations. So once again, to solve, you're going to set up two new equations. The first one is the same, just without the bars. The second one is the same as the first, except you change the number that's isolated to its opposite. Let's go ahead and get into an example with this. Here is example number one. This needs to be in your notes. Example number one says solve the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 7. So 
absolute value equations have two solutions. So to find those two solutions, we're going to set up two equations. The first equation is the exact same. All we do is get rid of the bars. The second equation is the same as the first, except you change that number that's isolated to be a negative. So as you can see, they took the positive 7 and they made it become a negative 7. Then you solve each equation. So on this one, you subtract 3 from each side. And 7 minus 3 is 4. And then over here, same thing. Subtract 3 from each side. And negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. So your answers are negative 10 and positive 4. So to find your two solutions, you write two equations. The first one is found by having the same equation, just drop the bars. And the second one is the same as the first, except the number that's isolated changes to be a negative. You solve both of those equations, and you have your two answers. All right, another example. Put this one into your notes. This is example number two. Get it in your notes. So we're going to solve this absolute value equation. So to solve the absolute value equation, you set up two equations. The first one is the same, just without the bars. So as you can see, the first one, no bars. The second one, we change the 15 to become a negative 15. Then you solve each equation. So if you solve the first one, you add 3 to both sides, divide by 6, and you get 3. On the right side, you add 3, then you divide by 6, and you get negative 2. So your answers are 3 and negative 2. So as you can see, when you plug these in, 6 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 15, and 6 times negative 2 minus 3 is equal to 15. So you got 18 minus 3, and 18 minus 3 is 15. The absolute value of 15 is 15. And over here you have negative 12 minus 3, which is negative 15, and the absolute value of negative 15 is positive 15. So they both check. So your answers are 3 and negative 2. All right, example number three here. This is another one you're going to want to have down. This is actually the last example of the evening here tonight. So if you'd go ahead and solve this one with me. Uh, the tip here is make sure you get the absolute value by itself first. You always want the bars isolated. I always think of this as you can't hang outside the jail. Okay, if I go down to Sarpy County Jail and I start hanging outside, maybe bring a picnic blanket, start eating lunch, they're going to tell me, get out of here. You can't hang outside the jail. It's not a hangout place. They won't let you do it. So, you can't hang outside the bars. So, minus 3 is hanging outside the bars. So, get rid of it. Add 3 to both sides. So, when you add 3 to both sides, you have the absolute value of 2x plus 7 is equal to 11. Once your bars are isolated, you can then split it into your two equations. The first equation is the same. Just get rid of the bars. And the second equation, same as the first, except to change that number that's by itself, the 11, to be a negative. Then you solve each equation, and you guys know how to do that. That gives you your two solutions. And you can go ahead and plug those back in to check them, make sure you got it right. And that's how you solve absolute value equations. All right, Titans, that's our lesson here for tonight. Uh, please fill out the Google form below. If you have any other questions, uh, please see your teacher. Please enter your comments into the Google form so we can adjust our teaching uh, for the next class period. Stay classy, Titans. Thanks for listening.